हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश पोएम नाइन द स्नेक ड्राइंग एंड दिस इज आर लेक्चर नंबर वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पोएम नाइन द स्नेक ड्राइंग ऑफ योर बुक बिहाइव As the title of the poem is the snake drawing, what eventually comes in your mind? Snake, snake. That is considered to be a dangerous and poisonous reptile, right? So this snake is considered to be as dangerous and poisonous reptile. but here in this poem trying that represents what that the poet of this poem has developed a kind of affection towards the snake now let's see why did such affection or that bond developed between the snake and the poet the name of the poet of this poem is w w e ross as i told you that snake is dangerous and poisonous reptile and the sight of a snake the sight of a snake is usually what is terrifying and chills down our spine so the central idea of the poem is that the snake is considered to be a dangerous terrifying and the sight of a snake chills down our spine however the idea of this poem is quite contradictory and now how it is contradictory because though the sight is terrifying but still the poet has tried to show snake as a victim so it is contradictory as in this poem the poet has tried to show snake as a victim itself as the snake does not cause any harm to anyone its intention of attack its intention of attack is only for self defense so here the poet has tried to show snake as a victim and it does not cause any harm to anyone and its intention of attack is only for self defense now let's study the poem the snake trying most of us think of snakes as fearsome symbols of death as i told you the sight of the snake is quite terrifying usually chills down our spine and that is the symbol of death but the snake in this poem is itself a victim let's start with the explanation of this stanza the snake trying to escape the pursuing stick with sudden curvings of thin long body how beautiful and graceful are his shapes so meaning of pursuing pursuing means to approach or towards something 
approach towards something that is to pursue that is to chase so here the poet describes how a snake is trying to avoid the approaching stick that is a stick was approaching towards it and the snake is trying to avoid the approaching stick with the elegant and non linear moves of its body with sudden curvings means non linear moves of its body so a stick was approaching and now we can guess that why was the stick approaching to kill the snake so the snake was trying to move away from the stick through its sudden curvings curvings means non linear moves of its body and the poet fell in beauty and charm of the snake as he says how beautiful and graceful are his shapes that represents the graceful and beautiful represent what the beauty and charm of the snake and also represents gracious moves right so graceful are his shapes means gracious moves that it makes and the poet felt really amazed at the shape and graceful movement of the snake now let's see the second para stanza he glides through the water away from the stroke oh let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt small and green he is harmless even to children so he glides glides means to go across something stroke stroke means the effort on something so the poet has described that the afraid snake is itself moving away into the water so that it can avoid the possible harm and go unhurt into the reeds reeds means what water plants with thick stems okay glides means to go across something stroke means the effort on something reeds means water plants with thick stems so the snake was trying to hide itself to move away from the danger of the stick by making its movement through the water from the stroke and it is trying to hide into the reeds the poet requests to hide without hurt small and green so the snake was small it was green in color and he is harmless even to children and the beautiful snake is harmless even to children so the poet here is requesting to let go the snake without causing any harm to it as the snake is also not causing any kind of harm even to children now let's see the last stanza of this poem along the sand he lay until observed and chased away and now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds so the poet says that the green snake was lying along the sand until it was observed so it is trying to hide by hiding itself along the sand until it was observed by someone who started chasing it with a stick and chased away and now he vanishes in the ripples but the snake moved fast and hid itself into the reeds so again reeds means water plants with thick stems and that is how it saved itself from the chaser or the pursuer the color of reeds is also green and the snake's color is also green so the snake 
is has accomplished the goal of hiding itself into the green slim reeds finally succeeded in hiding itself from the chaser so this poem is all about what this poem is all about the snake who is trying to escape who is trying to escape from the danger from a man actually who is running after him with a stick now let's discuss the word meanings escape means to avoid successfully as the snake was trying to escape from the chaser graceful means elegant and beautiful and here graceful modifies the shape and the movement of the snake pursuing means approaching towards approaching towards something right glides glides means to go across something then stroke stroke means to put effort on something reeds reeds means water plants with thick stems chased chased means to go behind ripples ripples means the movement of water current slim slim means thin slim means thin so these were the word meanings that you need to note them down in your fair notebook so this poem was all about one snake right who was trying to escape from the chaser or the pursuer and the poet also admires the beautiful movements of the snake right and so this poem deals with the fact that one should not cause any harm to any creature on this beautiful earth until or unless it is causing any harm to any of the species living in the environment as the poet lays emphasis that the snake should not be harmed in any way as the snake is not causing any harm to anyone so this poem the snake trying the title apps as the snake was trying to escape from the danger zone which usually does not happen even and contradictorily what happens when we usually sees a snake we get a fearsome look and the only thing that comes to our mind that now we are going to die but this poem is totally contradiction to our you know to our thought as the snake itself is serving as a victim here and he is running or he is uh, the snake is trying to move away out of the danger zone and who was the danger zone for the snake obviously there was a one human being who was uh, you know chasing it with a stick why with a stick in order to kill the snake so you will read the poem thoroughly and you will note down the word meanings in your fair notebook and then you have these thinking about the poem there are five questions given you need to write the answers of these five questions in your fair notebook today so this is a very short poem written by w w e ross correct so your homework is read the poem thoroughly note down the word meanings and do these five textual questions which are quite easy in your fair notebook